Nicholas back tonight. Tonight we're back with MacPup 511. Probably the best Enlightenment distro out there at the moment, still, as per usual. Now, John's put some new themes online and stuff like that. We're going to give him a little show and show how to get them, stuff like that. So we'll go down to themes, open it up, click on the old themies. As you can see, I'm using the shippy one today, but it's really nice. Or Mir, or Miran, or whatever we call it. It's a nice one there. Number two is nice as well. Humanity you've had for a while. So lots and lots of different stuff here, and they're all quite nice, and they render really nice on your screen, especially if you've got a nice widescreen. Really, really super duper. It's a bit black that one, but it's right. And you've got a holiday one here as well. I've not downloaded them all, I've just downloaded a few, because I've been doing lots of stuff recently. So, back to MapPup to do a bit more stuff with it, and get it going properly. So anyway, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to go to Applications, of course. I'm going to go down to Internet. Now, I'm going to open up Chromium. As you can see, I've installed loads of stuff on this MacPup version I've got here. Uh, now, where did I get it from? Oh, I forgot now. So basically, I'm going to go to my history. So we click over here in Chromium, go to history, and there's a Runt's page over there. So we're going to click on Runt21's page. Now, this is the page where you can get all the extras. Now, there's edge files and there's pet files. Now, I've done a video on this before, and if none of you get it, I'll do it another one again. But if you're not familiar with anything doing like this, just get the pet files and they'll download all the new themes and backgrounds, etc. for you. So I've clicked on Calm, and Calm's now downloading. It takes a few seconds, really. It's only four and a half meg, really. Anyway, and we wait for it to download. Two and one, and she's gone. Oh, yeah. By the way, the music in the background is John's music from his band. Nice. Copyrighted, of course, with permissions I can use. Lovely. So we'll go to our file manager, and we'll go to Downloads. And there's the latest one that I've downloaded, this is Calm 2 You just click on it once, puppy style, as you would do, click OK. I just wait for it to start installing. And there we are, all done. We click OK again. It does its tango bar thing, as it does in all pups. Nice, lovely, super. We wait, we wait, we wait, we wait a bit longer. You have to wait on this in all pups, it's not just this one, so don't worry too much. It just happens, man. But the faster the machine, the quicker it will do, if you know what I mean. So that's all done, all installed, nice. So what do you do next? Well, of course, we can get rid of that now, can't we? So we click on the X, as you would do. We go down, open our menu again, which is a one-click menu, as per usual. Go down to Themes, and we scroll up, and we should find our new theme there. And there it is, MP Calm 2 Looks a bit grey from here. Well, I'm not going to admit just yet, because I'm still playing with all the new stuff at the moment. But lots and lots to do. So there's Holiday. Looks nice, isn't it? We're going to apply that. There you go. That was nice and quick. Nice and bright. Nice little red borders. Very nice indeed. I like you, like you, like you. This is the thing about Enlightenment. You can actually customise it to whatever you want to do. Every little icon, desktop, or whatever you want to do. I really have the clock on this one as well, though. You see the clock? It's really nice. I like it. Super. So, what else can we do for you tonight? Well, quite a bit, actually. We'll go back to the menu again in all applications, and it's all there. We're going to set up. And we're going to go to the Puppy Package Manager. And now I've heard people have been having problems with this in some versions of 5.1 Puppy as well. If you go to Configure Your Package Manager, you really do need to update it, even if you're only using the one official package manager system or repository, whatever you want to call it. You have to update it. Now, it does take a little while, actually, because there's lots and lots. But once you do it, you get all these extra bits and bobs up here. Super duper. And there's lots and lots in there to install and stuff like that. I've installed quite a lot, as you can imagine. Yeah, I have. I've been doing lots of playing with MacPup. I've not actually told anybody about it just yet. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret in a minute. All the new videos I've done, I've done in MacPup using OpenShot. Because you, you can tell they're OpenShot, can't you? But I thought I'll give it a good workout and make sure it all works correctly. No problems at all. No problems whatsoever. You can use it to do anything you really want to. If you've never used OpenShot before, it's really easy to use. Really, really easy. And for quickness, for me, for quickness, it's easy. Yes, I do use Caden Live as well, my other systems. But that's when you want to do other stuff. Do you know what I mean? 
Who would I stuff? If I'm doing, let's say, a, a live video for my chem cooler stuff, I would use that maybe. But yeah, see what we do there. Also, if we go back down to multimedia again, you'll see as I scroll up a bit, I've still got Avid Emacs up there as well. There you go. Now, Avid Emacs, I use a basic video editing still as well. It does what it says on the tin. It's really super duper. Now, Enlightenment, if you're an Enlightenment distro, this is the one to have. Enough said. Super duper. I'm gone. Sneaky Linux going out to play with MacPup even more. See you later. Bye-bye.